morning everyone. It is Sunday and I'm all dressed up ready to take on the day. I'm gonna do heaps of jobs today. Basically I'm going to head out and do some shopping. I need um, some stuff around the house. I need to go check out some lights. Matt has actually already been to lighting direct. Um, to have a look at some lights that we want for the wardrobe. So I'll show you the wardrobe room so that you kind of understand what I'm talking about. I also need to go um, supermarket shopping. I need to pick up some cleaning products and then I'm going to go and get a mask. My skin's quite bad at the moment. Um, so I want to go get my favorite Purology mask from Mecca. And um, so I'm going to go pick that up in town. I also would like to go get my nails done and my toenails done. So it's going to be all go. Here's our little Feeny saying hello. Um, so yeah, and basically what I do is I've got this handy shopping list um, that I put on the fridge. And... Um, as I run out of things and need things, I write it down. And I'm just really keen to have a great week this coming week. So I really just want to get cracking and get things organized. Um, so yeah, I thought you could follow me along for the day. Okay, so this is our wardrobe room and it's looking kind of bare at the moment because I just had like a massive clear out. Um, but this is the light that we've got and you can kind of already see, I mean I can flip the lights on. It's really dark in here. Um, and that is just a pain. So um, we've got quite mismatched furniture um, and then this is the Hello, uh, the area that I get ready in the morning and then all along there are um, wardrobes. So I'll show you inside one of mine. Um, so it's nice because everything is tucked away. Um, but yeah, I need to have a sort out. So I'm basically just keen to have a look at another light that's going to give off more light than the one that we've got up there. Um, we're thinking maybe, like I'm not a huge chandelier fan, but apparently they give off great light. And since this is a dressing room, I thought that that could still be nice. So I'm going to go check some out anyway. Matt's already been to Lighting Direct um, to see some, but I need to give the final sign off. Um, if you want to see my makeup more up close and personal, you can see that my skin's just not super, super great. So, um... Yeah, it's actually really difficult and really puts me off filming because I just feel crap about it and um, I like to film in the weekends because obviously I work all week um, but I'm also trying to give my skin a break because I really do have to wear makeup for work. So um, anyway, I'm just pushing ahead, forging ahead today and showing you my skin. Um, and like I said, I'm going to go and get one of my favorite masks because I really do find that when I do like a clay mud mask, it really helps with healing my skin and stopping any other breakouts. So I'm thinking I'm going to go buy something today. This is my perfume of choice. It's the... Lola James Harper just say yes fragrance and it is just so divine I bought it when I was in Brighton I couldn't even tell you the shop but it just smells like roses which is probably my favorite way to smell oh so good so I've literally just made it as far as my car um, because I ran inside and realized that I forgot lots of the things that I needed to do. So I've got these shoes and I mean, they have seen better days, but because they've got such a pointed toe and I've worn them in, they're so bloody comfortable. And it is really hard to find comfortable heels that you can run around in as a journalist. And we do spend a lot of time running around and chasing after people. But 
the heels have gone on both of them um, so I want to get them resold because I'm just not willing to wear in another pair yet um, because I mean I did bring back some pumps from the UK that I'm wearing in but I really need some that I can rely on that I know are comfortable and then I also I put the alarm on and ran back in and got them and then you know turned it off and all that and then I was like fuck I forgot in my shopping bags because in New Zealand we are getting rid of uh, single used use bags from the supermarket which is great but it means that you need to remember your shopping bags when you know you're going supermarket shopping so then I had to run and turn the alarm off grab my bags and then run back in the car and now I've got a bit of a sweat like a top lip bum chin kind of sweat going on um anyway so I'm going to I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go to Rick Mall first or if I'm going to head into town and get the skin stuff first and get my nails done um but I think I'm going to go into town first and just get that done um because that'll be the first thing that I'll let slide if I'm like in two hours time like oh, I can't be bothered um so yes I'm going to go into town I think um or should I drop off my shoes I don't know um, I'm going to go into town and then I'm going to work my way close to home. We live close to Rickerton Mall so I'm going to uh, go into town and um, do the jobs I need to do in there and then I'm going to make my way up Morehouse to the homeware store, go to my favourite shop Esco and just have a little look at some stuff and um, then I'll go to Rickerton Mall and do what I need to do there. Okay so I'm back home. Um, my shopping trip to try and find stuff for the house was a bit of a fail simply because I am so indecisive. I really want to do up our entrance area but I just can't decide what I want it to look like and then I really want to buy some like beautiful faux flowers or fake flowers um, for like the table and the entrance but the ones I like are about $25 each and I think I'm probably going to need like $200 worth of them and I just don't know if I can justify spending $200 on fake flowers although they'll probably make me feel really good every time I walk in and see them looking beautiful um but I did have some success when I went to Rickerton Mall so I thought I would show you um some of what I got oh now as for Mecca um, I'll show you what I bought in here. Mario Badescu um, Healing and Soothing Mask. And I'm interested to see how this goes. So it's to restore balance to oily acne prone skin. Now I don't have oily skin, um, but I do feel that I need um, like something that's really calming. Um, and oh, it's all sealed obviously. Hello. And it just smells like real nice. So it kind of is greeny-ish. Um, so I might even do this one tonight because that could be kind of fun. Um, and is this one? Yeah, absorb a thin layer on clear skin. So you just leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and you do it two or three times a week. So I might have a go with this one. Um, and I also got um, two of the Purology um, face masks. They are my favorite. So my absolute favorite mask ever is this Patchology one. It's the um, Detox Smart Mud. And the reason why I love it so much is because when I use it, I see a visible difference straight away. If I do it at night, I feel like once by the time I take it off, my skin looks better. And then the next morning, I just look so much better for having done it. Um, so I thought I would try another one. This is a milk peel. So this is um, an exfoliant. Um, and I thought that this could be a really cool one to do as well. Um, I'm not going to do it now because I'm kind of tan at the moment. The lights up here are really orange. So I'm not actually this tan and not actually, my hair is like, not actually like ginger. Well, it kind of looks like it is around there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try these out and this um, and just hope that that fixes my skin. Now I've got a couple of free gifts um, because I went in and I'd spent enough um, points on my Beauty Loop card that I got a free gift and then I also got one for my birthday. So the first one that I got is this Hip Hip Hooray um, and it's um, the Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Body Oil and I thought that this could be amazing um, in the summer. So obviously we're coming up to summer so I will test it out. 
in my hand. Hey! That was my cat biting the camera. Uh, so, how does this work? Oh yeah. Oh, it smells yum. So, hey! Stop that, Phoenix! Naughty boy. Yeah, so, I don't know if you can really see, but it's like a beautiful shimmer kind of oil. Um, and this sort of thing looks amazing on like your shoulders and particularly on your legs um, if you are like wearing a beautiful dress or something. So I thought that was nice. So it's for health and hydration. I might shake it up. And this might make it work better. Ooh. Oops. Oh yeah, now I can see more of the shimmerness. You see that? It's got that gold kind of shimmer. Um, so this looks amazing like down like the bone bit of your um, leg, like at the front, like your shin. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be nice for the summer. So the other thing that I got was um, the Mecca Beauty Loop number two. I love how many um, like free gifts you get when you shop with Mecca, it's amazing. So what's in here, it's just like a little box. So Bergamot 22 is the, um, what it's called. Oh, and it's just one of these. These sorts of things are really handy to have in your bag if you want to take a um, scent with you, but you don't want to carry around your perfume. So let me smell this. Hmm. To be honest, the stuff that I put on my hands, the shimmer oil, is kind of overpowering. Oh, let me... Hmm. I'm not, um, what's the word, offended, but it's not like blowing me away, but I mean a perfect one to have in my bag if I want a little spritz. Um, I also got the Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whipped Cream Recover and Rescue. So this, oh, it's just a moisturizer. And this is another thing, like if you're traveling and um, you're on a plane or something, saving these up and keeping these with you when you are like on the plane and you want to put a moisturizer on is such a good idea um, because they're not heavy to have to carry around. Oh, and this is from NARS. This is a um, Power Matte Lip Pigment in the color Star Woman. So I love little minis, they're so cute. Let me show you. Ooh, how cute is this? So, oh my gosh, I love small things. What is it about things that are small that... Oh, I love this. <gasps> Holy crap. That is like pretty stunning. Let me... Whoa. Wow, that is, it kind of reminds me of Max Ruby Woo. So it's a lip pigment, so I guess it's just like a liquid lip. Star Woman. I'll definitely, I might even wear this to work tomorrow. Something a little bit different. I do want to wipe it off though. Okay. I don't want to get it like on my shirt or anything. I'm guessing it's like a liquid lip, is it? So it kind of stays on. I don't know, because it comes in the little one, I'm not sure, but it's said to shake well. So that is a super cute little mini. Very excited about that one. This is the Instant Firming Beauty Shot. So, apply two or three drops to a clean face, follow with moisturizer, reapply over moisturizer or makeup throughout the day as needed when applying over makeup Gently pat your skin until absorbed. So it's a firming kind of thing. It's a really good size. Like there's a lot of product in this small kind of bottle. So I also went into Portman's today and they were having a sale. They've got the best clothes if you're looking for like tidy work clothes that aren't super expensive. And they had a sale. Um, so I got a couple of things. Just a... Um, navy blue dress um so it's kind of got these cool sleeves i really like wearing sleeves at work it's just really appropriate 
and um, comfortable like just to kind of like cover this bit of your arm and it's just tied up at the front and then it's just a cute kind of skirt and I just thought this is the sort of thing that's super tiny I can wear it to court um, I can wear it on a hot day and it's not too heavy but also in the winter I'll be able to wear it with tights um, so I got that and um, just because I'm always looking for tiny clothes to wear around home um, I picked up this it was on special um, cardigan so it's pink I would have loved it if it was grey to be honest um, but it's pink and I like this material um, I find it to be really flattering because it kind of like clings to the skin and makes you look like thin through your arms um, and it's long and um, yeah I just thought it's like a perfect one to wear like at home or um, like obviously when I'm visiting Matt wherever he is like in hotels and stuff where I want to be comfortable but tidy uh, so yeah this was a great little purchase as well and I got some other stuff so because I'm struggling with my skin I went into the health store health 2000 and I'm like a real supplement buyer um, and I got this detox support um, so I'm going to trial this for the next wee while and apparently what this does is it detoxes your blood so a lot of the other um, detoxing methods that you do out there detox your kidneys and your liver which is great but sometimes you need to detox your blood too so I was talking to the lady and she said that she swears by this for getting rid of um, skin issues so I just kind of thought it can't hurt, it was $32 um, and yeah, she said the biggest thing with taking any of these detox type supplements is that you have to start off slow um, and you never know like how it's going to come out, you might like completely break out, you might come out in a rash, um, you never kind of know how you're going to be affected by a detox. So I got this and I'm going to start this straight away so I'll let you know how I go with this in the next couple of weeks. Um, but I also bought this Detox Duo and so this is just a detox tea. This is in no way, in no way like a weight loss thing at all. This is all about me just like having like a restart and kind of kick starting like a bit of a little health regime that I'm going to um, get on a bit of a health kick and um, so I want to get rid of the toxins in my body at the moment I'm feeling like really kind of like foggy and just tired and a bit unmotivated um, so I wanted to do a detox um, and mostly to be honest like for mental clarity and then also I'm always thinking about trying to fix my skin because I'm sure the reason why I'm breaking out has nothing to do with all um, of the products that I'm putting on my face but has everything to do with what's going on inside my stomach um, so yeah this is a liver detox tea and a kidney cleanse tea um, but I'm probably gonna start this when Matt leaves um, he is only home now for like another four days so I might start this in like a week's time and see how I go because um, I might cut out a bit of coffee um, while I do this and um, I really don't want him to have to deal with me if I'm not drinking coffee because I'm sure that I would be like a horrible person. So yeah, um, I think that's everything that I bought for my supermarket shopping. I mean, do you want to see what I got? One thing you should know about me is that I absolutely fucking love cleaning products. I love to clean, I love everything being perfect and um, something terrible about me is I actually like quite toxic stuff. Like there's nothing better to me than like the smell of like handy andy in the um, bathroom because then you just know that everything is dead. But because I've got cats I have to be very very careful with what I use. Um, so I did get some cleaning products which um, walking down the cleaning aisle in Bunnings, Mitre 10 or the supermarket is kind of like my dream. Um, so yeah and then I got fabric softeners because there's nothing better than like beautiful smelling clothes. Um, so you had a wee bit of a splurge on that and so um, basically I'm going to put away my groceries, tidy up all this crap that I've got all over the bench, have a tidy up of the house and do a little bit of meal prep. So um, yeah, do you want to watch me do that? If you do, just keep watching.
that I use for my washing, and I absolutely swear by it, my mum has always used it, is Purcell. Um, so I always, always use um, a personal washing powder. I just feel like it's the only thing that gets rid of stains. And the only way that I was able to notice, oh shoot, just dropped it, was, um, was I have these multi-use um, face halos that Chloe Morello developed. Um, and that's what I use for removing my makeup. And I was finding that when I was using using a cheaper um, powder, washing powder, it wasn't taking um, the makeup out. And then I started, my mum was like, you need to use Purcell. When I started reusing Purcell again, I just noticed the biggest difference. Um, so yeah, I got that. Um, I also am absolutely obsessed with fabric softener. I don't use it on like anything that I'd be using on my face, but I use it for sheets, um, or I like randomly, this sounds so stupid, I'll use it for like Matt's uniforms so that when he puts them on they smell nice. I know that sounds stupid. Oh, we've just had a little, did you hear that? Little bit of a fight with the boys. Oh, you can go out. Don't you dare has it your brother flee up, Feeny? Mm, we've had a little bit of a fight, didn't we? Did your brother just has it you? Yes, it was nice. What are you okay, Feeny? Did you get scared or something? Did you get scared? Hey? They get really scared. Oh, hello. When it comes to their cat door, um, because we have had like other cats try and come inside but it's microchipped so they can't um so when they um sometimes go outside the cats are waiting for them and bite them don't be phony when you'll let you out here you go but don't hit your brother again okay go on just so busy with my children. Um, so yeah, back to washing. I use Cuddly and I love using this um, even with like Matt's uniforms and stuff so that when he puts them on, it smells real nice for his game. I'm sure it makes a difference. Um, and what else did I have to show you about all that stuff? Nothing, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I always use Purcell. It's the best, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's well worth it if you really want your clothes to be Super clean. All right, I am going to start with a little bit of prep. The first thing I'm going to do, oh, the first thing I'm going to do is cut up all my stuff for um, my green juices in the morning. I swear by them, and when I'm not green smoothie juicering, I don't feel as good. Oh, I'm puffed even just from that like little run in. So I'm going to chop up everything and get it all ready for the week ahead. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is what I've cooked up and it's essentially just like greens. Um, kale and courgette, onions, and um, I put a little bit of um, teriyaki in it and some rye salt. Um, and I've got broccoli in it too. So it's just greens. I'm just gonna put it into a couple of plastic containers. And then each day for lunch, I can just add some tuna to it, or I bought some falafel so I could cook some falafel up. Um, maybe actually I should do that tonight is cook some falafel up so that it's ready to go um, and just mix it in and like it's not like the most delicious meal but it's just something that's healthy and um, lunch is like just one of those meals that I'm like ugh, I don't care about I was talking to one of the editors at work the other day if you're watching um, and we were talking about how lunch just isn't our meal so if you're not like overly excited about lunch you might as well just make yourself something really healthy and just eat like just think of it as fuel just think of it like your body's a car and you just want to put fuel into it. Don't think about it like it needs to be something super, super yum. Um, another thing you can do, and I think I have some in here. 
They did, or they might have got eaten. Oh, I think they've been eaten. Um, but you can buy like some of those um, cups of rice like a yum Mexican or Indian flavor, and you can heat them up and stir it in with it. Um, that's another really good idea if you wanna add like a little bit of um, like substance, like hashtag carbs to your meals. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to dish this up now and stick it into the fridge. Oh, I did kind of wanna to talk to you. I might sit down with you for this. I'm having a wee drink. I don't usually drink, um, but we had a barbecue the other week and I had all this wine left in the um, in the fridge and I'm one of those people who I don't drink, but if there's wine in the fridge, I'll like get slowly chip away at it, if that makes sense. It sounds really bad, but like I'll only ever have like one glass a day and I never pour, I usually pour like a glass for me, it's like half of this, but I thought I might as well get rid of the um, bottle really rambling on okay so I caught up with my friend uh, Chloe today and she's one of my very best friends in Christchurch because we just kind of get each other um, and we were just talking about like the odd weekend where I feel like there's so much pressure all the time to kind of do what I've done like today just to always get like everything sorted because it's true you do end up having such a more productive week when you've been to the supermarket and you've done a little bit of meal prep and you just feel ready for the week and it does set you up for success um but at the same time I think the best thing you can do with your weekend sometimes is actually be a little bit selfish and not to feel guilty about those days or those even if you spend both days in the weekend where you just want to sit at home and like lie in bed and watch Netflix I feel like there's so much pressure to be like oh you have to you know be out exercising you have to be getting your week sorted um, and that's all very well but every now and again and I definitely need it I need a mental health day where I literally just lax out and like lie in bed I watch a TV show like I just know for me that makes me feel good um, like when I'm watching TV shows, I don't know, it's like my thing, it makes me feel kind of inspired and like I, obviously I work in tally um, and I love it, God, I'm really not looking my best right now. Um, but just honestly being able to just lie on the couch or clean up the house and feel like you don't have to leave for the day or you don't have to be out socializing or like being seen like dressed up, like just have like a no makeup day, do a face mask. Um, and even if it's like you don't actually have to sit at home and eat shit but I'm not judging you even if you do sit at home and eat shit actually like sitting at home and like you know drinking heap tons of water and eating healthy and just being at home and like being quiet does like amazing things for the mind like not having to be on because we all have to be so on like every day at work and like, I just know that on, like, a Friday night, I've got nothing left in the tank. Like, I really don't really go out for drinks and stuff after work on a Friday. And then on a Saturday night, like, sometimes there's literally, like, nothing more that I'd rather be doing than just, like, at home watching TV. And just having dinner and having an early night, reading my book. And I just wake up on Sunday and I just feel so much better for it. And then I notice through the week, like I just, then I can be on. And yeah, I don't know, like there's so much pressure that in like this kind of self-help kind of fad. And I know it's not a fad, but there's so much pressure to also be like filling your day up with your morning routine and everything you think you should be doing on the weekend. And sometimes what you really need to do is rest and whatever that looks like for you whether it's like going and doing yoga going for a walk or um you know if it's just being on your own and sitting in bed and watching a show and then having an afternoon sleep like it's not something you should feel guilty for some of us like we fill our tank up a lot of a lot of car analogies today but we fill our tank up by being quiet and being on our own so that we can be extrovert during the week and be bubbly and happy. 
Um, whereas some people are completely different. Like I know, um, you know, I have friends who feel so much better for getting out and socializing like that fuels them and that makes them feel better. And I know that feeling sometimes too. I'm like, oh, I'm glad I made the effort to go and catch up with that person. But I think sometimes you, there's only, there's a very few people in your life that actually do fuel you up rather than take from you. A lot of people take from you. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd have a wee chat about that. And um, I don't know, comment below if if you like experience the same thing. Sometimes all you want in your weekend is just like not to see people and not to wear makeup and not to have to be on just to absolutely do whatever it is that fuels you up. So yeah, I just thought that I should have that wee chat because there's so much bloody pressure on us all these days. It's not easy. It's not bloody easy. So I've got the face mask on and it feels good. It doesn't feel tingly or sticky or anything really. And um, so I'm just going to leave this on for like... 10 to 15 minutes and read my book for a little bit and um, I think that I will end my vlog here. So I hope that you have enjoyed spending the day with me and I think this was really fun. I haven't been doing as many makeup videos simply because my skin has been so that it makes me feel insecure um so yeah maybe this is a good way around it at least if I'm vlogging I'm kind of like taking you through the journey as well of trying to get my skin better so um you know maybe you could learn something from me and if you've got anything that you think might help me you could message me as well and we can help each other um so yeah it was awesome hanging out with you today, and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye.